Now I grew up down an old dirt road in a town you wouldn't know. My pops picked the place up for fifteen hundred bucks back in 1964. My grandfather was a drinker back in the day. Why TPC? Good morning. It is Friday. It is Friday, which means Fine Five on Friday. That's why I'm here in the closet studio where there is peace and quiet, and I'm here to shoot. Five five on Friday. Now I have five for you today. Um, obviously, one is a veteran. Um, the veteran I'll be shouting out today will be last, and this veteran is one that I have not shouted out in quite a while. Um, at least it seems like it's been. So I wanted to add him to the list. Um, I put him on the number five slot for today. Um, hopefully, some of you new newcomers. Uh, have not heard of him yet, and that will attract people to his channel, which is always very, very exciting. Um, as always, in all of my videos, um, I put a link in the basement. If you hit that little arrow, it drops the steps down. Don't do like Clark Griswold and stand underneath them and get whacked in the face with them. The steps drop down, you go down them. The links and the names are down there for everybody that I shout out in all of my videos. Um, so, the first one is Beardless Gnome Joe. I love that name. Because there is no... I've never seen a beardless gnome. Never. I've never seen one. Um, and, of course, his name is Joe. So... Beardless Gnome Joe is number one for today. Um, he is a great kid. He is just awesome. Um, I hit him up and um, we were talking. And he seemed like he was a little rushed. Maybe it was excitement. Maybe it was nervousness. Um, I used to do, I still do a lot of stuff from nervousness. Um, I like to fidget with my glasses a lot uh, when I'm nervous. And uh, you would think I wouldn't be nervous anymore in front of the camera. But it does happen. But um, I just gave him some pointers, and uh, he embraced them. Uh, he truly, truly embraced them and wanted to, um, he wants to get better. He wants to be a part of the community, and um, I think he's a great guy. I really do. So check him out. Um, second is Whiteford Pipes. White, W-H-I-T-E-F-O-R-D pipes um another good feller pretty new um i think he's a little over a hundred subs now i think um is where he is at and um he's another good guy i really enjoy watching I'm trying to watch them you know but um as you all know as your sub count goes up it's so hard to watch everybody's videos um i went through last night early this morning and watched a couple videos of guys that I haven't watched in a while, you know, like, um, you know, Bearded Bristol and a couple other guys that I haven't watched in a while because I, you just can't, there's not enough time in the day. I mean, there's just not enough time in the day not to do my own research for my videos, to do the layouts for my videos, to, um, when I say layouts, I mean like the tobaccos and the cigars or the blends or you know and all that stuff um and just to have family time you know to uh you know have time with my wife and my and my daughters and um or just my mother-in-law or you know some of my family that I live with you know it's difficult to do so um it, it's very hard but I try to do the best I can so Whiteford Pipes is number two. And then you have Dana Whitfield. D-A-N-A -A Whitfield. W-H-I-T-F-I-E-L-D. Another good fella. Brand new out of the box. 
um, he's doing really well as well. Um, I really enjoy watching his channel. Um, he, he, you know, they're they're getting better. Uh, you know, everybody's new, and when you're when you're new like that, it's hard to get. I mean, unless you've done it before, you know, it's a big change to get in front of the camera. It really is. Number four, E P S B fifty eight. E is in Edward, P is in Putts, S is in Sam, B is in Boy, 5 8. Now, um, this guy here is good. I mean, he's an older fella. Um, he is brand new. I, I think he's almost right out of the box. This not sleeping is killing me. Um, he is like fresh out of the box, so he is. Um, but I really enjoy uh, watching him. It's going to be fun when he starts getting comfortable around the camera and sharing some of his experiences in life. Um, that'll be very, very exciting, and uh, I look forward to that as well. So EPSB58 is number four for today. And number five, the veteran of the day, the one I've been talking about that I, have, that I haven't watched or shouted out in a while and I'm starting to get around to it, is Pipe and Tobacco. His name is Yanez. Folks, if you have not heard of Yanez yet, you're missing out on a really good channel. Um, I really enjoy watching Yanez. Uh, it, it, it's difficult to watch everybody. You know, but Yanez is awesome. Um, he has sent some amazing care packages to people. Um, I wish I could send more, but it's difficult. But when I do send them, I try to send as many as I can. Um, you know, but um, Yanez is a great guy. So stop over at Pipe and Tobacco, T-O-B-A-K. Like I said, don't worry about writing these down, folks. The link is in the basement. Just hit the little arrow on the side. It'll drop down. The names and the links will be there for y'all. Uh, you can find them and uh, give them a sub. If you're already subbed to them, I just ask you to go back and watch a video and leave a nice comment. Uh, comments will go a long way. And um, they are always greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, I would also today like to throw out to the newcomers about the Briar Report. If you have not heard of the Briar Report, then you are missing out on that as well. And the Briar Report is a great site that I will put the link in the basement. Um, the Briar Report is awesome because if you, they have so many forums in there. You can go and you can ask a question. You can research a tobacco um, you can get on there and say, hey, you know, I'm just starting Virginia's. Any uh, good suggestions for a good starter Virginia? Or maybe a lighter English that, you know, you're looking to expand your your palate to Englishes. You know, whatever it may be, folks, Briar Report has it. Um, so please stop by the Briar Report and um, check them out as well. Guys, I want to thank you all for the support and the friendships, um, the gifts that you've sent over the years, the last year or so. Um, you know, it, it just means so much to me. Um, I really, truly enjoy making these videos, and I love watching you guys' videos and shouting people out, and I love to get the... Uh, the comments of, wow, you shouted me out. That was so cool. Because I remember like that how that was when I was a, a newbie, you know. And that's really, really cool. And um, I, I, I enjoy doing it. I really do. So um, thank you all for the opportunity. Thanks for the subs, the nice comments, the thumbs up, the thumbs down. You know, it's all so greatly appreciated. It's all helped me grow as a presenter. And I'm urging you today, if you're watching and you haven't done a video yet, even if you don't post it, put yourself out in front of the camera and record it and just 
smoke a pipe, tell them what the pipe is, hold it up, what you're smoking in it, and tell us a little bit about yourself and watch it. And if you feel comfortable with it, post it. YTPC intro. Um, you know, I would love to get to meet and know more of you guys um, that are watching and, and leaving comments. Um, I realize that not everybody is going to be a presenter. I get that. Um, I was a lurker for many years. Um, I think I lurked from about six years or so. I was a viewer. Um, I hate the word lurker. Uh, I think I was a viewer for like six years, seven years. Uh, I was watching a lot of cigar stuff. And that's how I was learning how to tame my palate in. And um, I was watching a lot of guys, you know, do cigar reviews. And um, then one day I just decided to do it. And I'm glad I did. So, guess it too. Oh, my word. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should make a pot of coffee. Guys, thank you so much again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this Fine Five on Friday. Until we can get together and pack a pipe or smoke a good cigar, let all that you do be done out of love. Y'all take care and God bless. Now I grew up down an old dirt road in a town you wouldn't know. My pops picked the place up for 1500 bucks back in 1964. Father was a drinker back in the day, he put him down. But a war is known to change a man, and the whiskey is known to change a man. That's not me.